What's up, everybody? Freakenstein here, and today we have Black Mamba Scorn. Uh, he's a KO oversized version from Age of Extinction. He's a really, really big guy. So we're gonna take a look at him real quick. It'll be a little bit hard to do because he's so big, but yeah, there he is. And before I do anything else, let me just show you a cool thing that he can do. Let's bring his head down and just one second. All right, you ready for this? So inside his head here, there's a little white button. I'm just going to press that little white button button if I can there we go and we'll turn off of the lights and now you can see that his eyes glow which is pretty cool that it came with the batteries so let's turn the lights back on and we'll just Press that button again. It's it's it just sucks that it's way back here. It's really hard to get at, but it's doable if you got something that you can do it with. But yeah. So yeah, there he is, and his head does turn to the side. It can go down. And it can go up that far. His arms move. His claw moves up and down. Uh, his tail moves. And you can move it side to side, but you can't bend it that way. His legs move. His claws move individually. Which is cool. And the knee can bend and it can move outwards about that far but that's about it for this big guy let's uh get him over here again get him back in the frame but yeah he's uh he's a really big big guy and uh you know i've nicknamed him hurt a source because this guy really hurts to transform. And I mean, really hurts. So before we get down to the transformation of this big guy, we are going to take a quick little break so you can watch my commercial giveaway. And we'll be right back. So if you want a chance to win one of these guys, all you have to do is like and subscribe and you could win either Mr. Optimus Prime and he's got a blaster or large sound wave with his own ravage or a little sound wave with his little ravage. And again, all you have to do is like and subscribe, watch a video. And also if you want a second chance, uh, you can like and subscribe to the Children of Primus right there. So, back to the video. Alright, we're back. And uh, I just want to show you guys something. I'm going to lift him out of the way. But just turning him around, look at the devastation that he caused over there. He is just like a Godzilla, um, which is pretty cool. So, uh, unfortunately, my copy did not come at all with any instructions. So, I watched a few videos, and I think I got it down pat where we can get this guy transformed. So, we're going to do that right now. We're going to start off with this right here. This is probably the easiest thing to do, is just do that. And then we're going to take this whole foot, um, and... Which way does it go? Um, I think it goes 
Yeah, like that. And everything should just clip into place like that. So there you have one leg done. And we can turn him around. And he causes more devastation in the background. We're just going to flip that down. Straighten out that leg. And is it, is it that way or is it this way? No, it, it's got to be this way. Come on. Which way you got to go? I know you go one way or the other. Okay. So it is that way. <laughs> just fold that piece up. And you can pull those claws up. There you go for a leg so far. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're gonna untab this back piece. Wait, we're gonna take these and bring them up. Sorry, let's do that on the other side. That bring it up, and then we can. I believe we can. Pull that back and pull that back, which should release all this. It should release all this. Yeah, there we go. We got all that and we can just move that back. Now what we're going to do is, since I've already unplugged, is unplug that. This one's pretty hard to undo. Oh, it would help if I undid the legs. That would help. So now we can undo this. So now that we've done all that, we can now take the legs on this double hinge and bring it up. Sorry about that, the tail's getting in the way. I don't know why this is doing that, but that will all peg into place. Let me get these legs out of the way. And now that we've done that, we can come over here and reveal his head. And I believe... I think it did it for me yeah it did it for me um this was our turn like that but then you just turn it like this and you can take his head oh. let's put this back in for a second but i'm pretty sure his, his head goes in here head goes in here but how how do we get this head in does this have to be down first let's see nope I'm doing something wrong here I'm doing something wrong but I do know that this guy's head does fold in there. Um, what am I doing wrong? Everything's down. Why are you not going down and untabbing everywhere? Split the legs. There we go. Then we we should have the clearance to get this guy's head in there. That's what it was. I did that step wrong, but we're getting there. So, anyways, that's how that goes. Let's 
just like that. And then these pieces will tab in to the sides right here. And we can just move all this stuff back. And you can angle that whatever way you want to. So now we can come over here and tab all that in. And then this, this piece right here. Okay, so there's this weird joint in here and it's gonna be really hard to show, but there we go. I don't know if you've seen it move, but it moves and that way you can now plug that piece right in just like that same thing for this side I think it moved did it move no it didn't move there we go had to move upwards and then that will snap in just like that we're almost done here guys we're almost done so now you can straighten out his hand and you can do whatever you want with these arms um, but I just like to cross them together inside there like that but yeah they're scoring I'm wondering if he's got a light up a button here too. Let's just turn off the lights for a second, find out. It does light up. That was cool. And this one's a lot easier to get to. A lot easier. So yeah. That took a bit. So for this arm. If you want to call it an arm. Like. I don't know what you'd want to call this. But. You can do what you want with it. But yeah. got some hip skirts and I'm not gonna go through all the posing of this guy he's just way too big for my little setup but you know if you guys like my videos please subscribe you know uh, the transformer community is one of the best communities out there and uh, we all should support each other and I got plenty more videos to come. I got new stuff coming. I got old stuff I'm going to do like this guy. And, uh, you know, it, it's just really fun doing these videos. And I appreciate every one of you. Every one of you. And, and don't forget, don't be scared to comment. I will respond to every comment. Uh, that is something I am really trying hard to keep my promise on. Is to always respond in the comments. And if you want to support my channel, you can also, right up there, I'll put a GIF. And uh, it's my t custom t-shirts. You can uh, click on my clapper. And uh, there's a store on my clapper that you can get stuff from. Uh, I'm also going to be posting up these guys here on it. Uh, these little miniature models. There's eight of them left. If you haven't watched those videos, I suggest you go watch those videos as well. And you can always support me on my Patreon. With my Patreon, you will see the early stuff that I do. You'll get my shorts early. You'll get all my editing that I do for uh, my stop motion. Um, and, and yes, please watch my stop motion and give me your opinions and thoughts because I'd really like to hear them. So anyways. Like always, this is Freakenstein saying, keep playing, Freakenstein, out. Robots in the
sky.